head keeps turning, turning like Russian roulette Thoughts are like bullets, I can't handle this So if your mind works differently to everyone else's, you can feel a bit different to everyone That can lead to the theme for number nine, which is feeling like an outsider, right? Now, when I was nine years old, I had a poster on my wall with all the planets of the solar system on it And it goes to the image of my previous slide <laughs> I know. Who could have anticipated it? <laughs> I had a post from a wall of, of the solar system, right? And I remember, I remember that I was nine because I remember loving the fact that there were, I was nine and there were nine planets in the solar system, right? And my favourite planet was Pluto because, yeah, a few people know where this is going to go. Right? <laughs> My favourite planet was Pluto because it was the smallest planet in the solar system and I was the smallest boy in my class. Now, the people who laughed before can tell you, right, what happened to Pluto on the 22nd of August 2006? Hmm? What happened to it? It's not, it's not a planet anymore, that's right. On the 22nd of August 2006, a bunch of killjoy astronomers in Prague voted Pluto out of the solar system because they're racist against Disney. Pluto is not a planet anymore. It's what we call a dwarf planet although it prefers the term little person planet. <laughs> but Pluto's not a planet anymore. And what's interesting, right, is that up until 2006, we didn't even have a definition of what a planet was, right? If it was big and it was in the sky, it was a planet. But we're humans and we like to separate and label things so that we can study them and understand them better, right? And we do that with planets, we do that with people too, because I used to be normal, but now I've got a disorder. <laughs> and there's shitloads of disorders, isn't there? There's like autistic spectrum disorder, attention deficit disorder, a, um, a multiple personality disorder, and I love the idea of multiple personality disorder. All of me do. <laughs> because basically the premise of multiple personality disorder is that one of the rules of being a normal person is that you only have one personality, right? Which is bullshit. We pretend to be other people all the time. Like, you know, when you're in a play, in a sexual fantasy, during the years following your involvement in genocide. Because <laughs> we've got a name for when you pretend to be someone else. We call that acting. And if you are brilliant at acting, they give you an award. But if you're so good at it that you don't even realise that you're doing it, they put you in award. <laughs> <laughs> There's all sorts of disorders, man. Like, you know, my mate Bill, he's schizophrenic. The other day he threw himself a surprise party. <laughs> but you forgot the other guy doesn't like surprises. <laughs> so now they're not talking? Which is great, because he's cured. <laughs> Lucky schizos, man. Every fuck's a threesome. <laughs> but I felt like an outsider before I got diagnosed with anything, right? Because I'm a stand-up comedian, which is, I think, an as-yet unclassified mental disorder. <laughs> it is, because basically a comedy gig is a bunch of freelancers trying to convince nine-to-fivers that we well, you know what you're going through. And we don't. <laughs> I sleep in. It's great. <laughs> but I used to be like you. I used to have a 9 to 5 job. I used to be a lawyer. I studied law at university. Right? But I didn't just study law because that would be boring. I also studied finance. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've got a question for me. What the fuck was I thinking? When I was 17, it's like I was half training to be a lawyer and half training to be a banker. When I was 17, like someone went to me, what do you want to be when you grow up, Yanni? And I was like, an all-around mega cunt. <laughs> I think I've missed a trick, though. Like, I think I would, and most autistic people, could make really good bankers. Like, you know, highly intelligent person, good with numbers, struggles with empathy. <laughs> but I made a great banker. I am, however, making people laugh for free, which I'm pretty sure is the exact opposite of being a banker. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just, I hated that job. Like, I just remember, I just, I remember, like, I just felt like a slave in an office. I felt like a slave. And at least when people, like, were slaves, you could sing songs about your flight <laughs> to get you through the day. Whereas at Baker and Mackenzie's Melbourne office, that was heavily frowned upon. <laughs> 
remember when shit would get a bit much for me at my desk and I'd just sit there and just go, Deo! Deo! Daylight gone and midnight gone. Oh. <laughs> dressed up day. <laughs> Jeans okay. <laughs> By the way, where's my pay? Cash flow is low. Dead inside, <laughs> and me one go home. Of course, you love it so much, you can sing along in the next verse. <laughs> Slack, my ninja, don't work hard, me barely brunt. Everybody! Dead inside, and me one go home. Yeah, thanks for the birthday card, you steal it. Now, section A. <laughs> <laughs> My head keeps turning, turning like Russian roulette. Thoughts are like...